Now we would like to bring up the Honorable Melvin Everson, State Representative and Candidate for Labor Commissioner. Good morning. Thank y'all for being here this morning. First off, I want to thank all the veterans out here. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you so much for your service. As a 23-year retiree from the military, I know what you have endured. The son, I'm the son of a World War II veteran, brother of a Vietnam veteran, the uncle of an Afghanistan war, and Iraqi war. I stand here today as a conservative since the age of 10, and never in my life have I been so afraid about my country and what is happening to my country. I did not, I did not spend 23 years in the military ready to defend her, to stand idly by now, to watch her be destroyed in a record amount of time. In my hand, I hold the Constitution of the United States of America. I have read it from the beginning to the end several times. And not one time did I see in here about the government dealing with my liver. It said, the role of the government is to protect my freedoms and liberties. And Mr. President, President Obama, keep your hands off of my liver. Yeah. Mr. President, you were elected with the slogan, yes, we can. I have a news flash for you. No, you will not destroy the great country of the United States of America. No, you will not continue to spin her into oblivion. No, you will not close Guantanamo Bay and send terrorists into our neighborhoods. No, you will not put hundreds and millions of seniors off of Medicare. And Mr. President, in case you haven't realized in your short time in office, Ahmadinejad in Iran does not want to negotiate with you. I'm a peace-loving man. I love peace. But I believe in Ronald Reagan's words. I believe in peace through superior fire power. I thank all of you for being here today. Many have written us off on April the 15th. Many have questioned what are these tea bags about? What is this AstroTurf movement about? Mr. President, Nancy Pelosi, and Harry Reid, the teapots have boiled over. You will see many of them in Washington on tomorrow. I cannot be there with you, but believe me, I will be there in spirit with you, and I will be here in Georgia continuing the fight. In the words of our former president, George W. Bush, we need all of you to get engaged, to get enraged, and to get involved. We will not tire, we will not falter, and we will not fail. We shall win our nation back. God bless all of you. Sorry to say that. I kind of feel sorry for you for having to follow that one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to bring up the state director of the Georgia Christian Alliance and the well-known Republican leader, Sadie Fields. The next time I'm going to do the speaker lineup. Yeah. <laughs> Melvin is a great man and a great speaker. And uh, Please welcome candidate for Roswell City Council and the wife of United States Congressman Tom Price, Betty Price. Please welcome candidate for Roswell City Council and the wife of United States Congressman Tom Price, Betty Price. Good morning, Patriots. You've heard a lot of great speakers here today, and I'm probably not going to be one of them, but I want to know, tell you first, all politics is local, and that's why I'm running for Roswell City Council. I'm also a medical doctor, and I'm married to a medical doctor, Tom Price, and he is up in Washington right now. 
preparing to address the Doctor's March on Washington. The Can Do Conservatives is a grassroots mobilization organization promoting fiscally conservative legislation for disabled Americans. Please welcome the chairman of Can Do Conservatives, Brian Donegan. Thank you and good morning, patriots. It's great to be with a lot of American-loving people today. It's, it, we've had some wonderful speakers, and uh, I'm glad to join them. It's time to end the tax on productivity and hard work in this country. Take that thousands of pages of, of tax code, rip it into confetti, and enact the fair tax, really get the economy going in this country. I wonder if this, if this bill was law when I was born, if, I, if my life would be deemed save, saving. My doctors told my parents that I would not live six weeks, let alone the 27 years that I've lived on this country and this great country of ours. Please, go up to Washington, be our voice. It is time for common sense leadership in this country. It is time for a change. It is time to get back to the shining city on a hill that President Ronald Reagan spoke of. Next, I'd like to bring up the State Director of Americans for Prosperity, Virginia Galloway. Who's ready to ride to Washington? Woo! I'm Virginia Galloway, the State Director of Americans for Prosperity. We're a national organization. We are nonpartisan. We are awesomely effective at what we do. And Please welcome the independent conservative candidate for United States Congress, Michael Frisbee. Well, I'm probably one of the lesser known people getting up here to speak today. But the opponent that I'm running against is indicative of the problems in Washington. I would like to bring up from We the People Revolution, Joel Aaron. This is about as American as it gets, isn't it? I want to call it mom and get apple pie and we'll be good to go, won't we? Thank you everyone so much for coming. Let's have